Hi guys, in this updated tutorial video, I'm going to go through the VLOOKUP function. Uh, this is Microsoft Office Excel 2013, so I just wanted to update my previous video. So you see, it's pretty much the same thing. So if this is your first time seeing a VLOOKUP function, pay attention carefully. Let me describe what we're looking at here. First of all, I've made this little table here. Uh, sort of like a employee list at a company and on the first column I have the title of the employee uh, either analyst associate or VP as you can see right uh, second column and third column we're not going to use in this video we may use in subsequent videos but I wanted to include uh, these kind of extra columns in here because a lot of times when you're working on a spreadsheet you're gonna have a lot of stuff in between what you want to do uh, okay so you have to be able to be comfortable with uh, these things sort of being here and just disregarding them okay and finally in this fourth column this is where we want to put the salary of these employees okay and um, I made a little kind of rule here very simplistic uh, if you're an analyst, you make $50,000 a year. If you're an associate, you make $80,000. Or let's make these euros. And if you're a VP, you make 120,000 euros. Okay? So instead of going through here and looking, hey, this guy's an analyst. So I'm going to type 50,000 here. And so on all the way down this list for example and getting down here this is a VP so he makes 120 K euros or dollars whichever you like instead of doing that especially if I had a very long list you could imagine with hundreds or thousands of employees listed here I would uh, that would take me all day so there's a function called the VLOOKUP function which will use this little t salary lookup table I've made here to find the appropriate title of the employee and give me in return the salary of that employee in these blank cells. Okay, so let's work on this function together. So first off, type equals VLOOKUP, open parentheses. Now VLOOKUP stands for vertical lookup, okay? the first thing you have to give this function is what you want to look up so if, if I'm typing this function on this row this title is what the function needs first so this is what it's gonna look up comma the next part of this function is where do you want to look up and that's the table we set up here so you highlight this table okay hit F4, the key F4 on your keyboard. And notice what it did to these references in the formula bar. It put dollar signs around them and so it made them absolute references as opposed to relative references. So this table will not move and you'll see why we need that in a second. So let's get back to the function. Comma, the third argument you need is, okay, now that I found this, what you're looking for, in this table over here, what do you want me to do finally? Well, what I want you to finally give me in return is the salary. So how I communicate that to Excel is by giving the column number in this table. So this is column one always, what you're looking up and column two is going to be the guy right next to it. If you had a table that had more information, perhaps a third column, you may be interested in what's over here. For us, it's as simple as this two column setup. So for the third argument, I just typed the number two. Excel knows what that means and now you know what that means. Now finally, the last argument in the VLOOKUP function is a choice between true or false and in this example we are want we want an exact match okay so we're gonna type false here now 
in other videos I've done VLOOKUP functions where at this point we might use TRUE and because we're interested in only an approximate match and approximate matches which is what we're not going to do here are used usually when you're looking up numbers here what we're looking up is a title a word so 99 out of 100 times when you when what you're looking up is a word like a name or a title or a category of some sort your last choice for the VLOOKUP function is going to be false because you want an exact match okay so let's type false close the parentheses we are done with this function okay so again four parts one what we're looking up two where we're looking up three when you find it what do you want me to give you back in return and four exact match or approximate match so four four parts four arguments to this function okay let's hit enter and just make sure it works okay so we get return 50,000 which is exactly what we should have got for an analyst right okay now the beauty of functions in Excel if you put them in correctly and you give them some thought is that you do not now need to do this whole process over again in every row below okay you can simply click on the one that you did the first time go over here to this square little handle over here grab it with the plus the, the black plus sign and then start dragging this down drag it down as far as you need and then when you're done let go and voila it fills in all those empty cells with the appropriate function all you have to do at this point is to check make sure on a few of them that it did the right thing before you move on so let's see we have a VP here should definitely make 120 good another VP here another VP here perfect associates should make 80 so here's one associate here's another 80 here's another 80 and finally here's a fourth 80 so it seems to be working all right so spot check everything else you'll see that all this column is correct according to the logic we set up in the beginning all right so that's a basic introduction to VLOOKUP and I wanted to make this video uh, even though I have one with uh, using a very similar example because I wanted to use Excel 2013 to just because it has a slightly different feel okay and most of you might be looking at 2013 alright but you, as you can see not much difference so I hope this was helpful if you need to get deeper into the VLOOKUP functions search my page for advanced VLOOKUP functions okay so I have a few tutorials that takes this process a little further and does a little bit more advanced stuff with it alright so I hope this was helpful till next time make sure to hit the subscribe button comment and have a great day